is the biggest question that comes to every female who is undergoing an IVF cycle and who is visiting our clinic. So let us enumerate about that. So pain, obviously you will have pain. So you will have to first decide that what you call a pain. You call a pain of a needle prick is a pain for you, undergoing a big procedure is pain for you. Because like earlier in the earlier times what used to happen after the IVF procedure like after the embryo transfer, the females used to be on lot of vaccinations which used to be oil based. Nowadays what happens before the IVF procedure like when the we do the egg harvesting, we stimulate the patient, that time we give injections to the patient definitely. But those injections are not oil based, they are water based injections and all injections that are water based believe me, they will just give you a pain like a needle prick because it is just a needle prick. Like a ant is like touching you, it has bitten you and it has gone by. So that is all the pain that you are going to feel plus these cases the protocols that are used for stimulation they have become so much short protocols, they are so patient friendly. In earlier times what used to happen that we used to stimulate the patient from the previous cycle, they are called long protocols. Now usually clinics they do follow short protocols. So like you will have injection somewhere around 9 to 10 days of the cycle. And to get a baby, I do not think that it is such a painful procedure, seeing the benefit that you are gain out of you. And like for 9-10 days, one injection daily or maybe two injections also later on in the cycle, it is not just a painful procedure. Secondly, when we do the ovum pickup, everybody is so worried about the procedure. Ovum pickup is a very, like it is a very painless procedure since we give anesthesia to the patient. The patient is completely relaxed. The procedure does not go more than 5 to 10 minutes. So believe me, you have a totally like a blissful experience, you can say you can sleep during the procedure. Obviously you will have the pain of the cannula being introduced into your body because the anesthetist will give you the anesthesia through it. So that is the pain during ovum pickup. Post ovum pickup you have a mild discomfort, like you have uh, maybe you can say like uh, you have got pains during your menstruation. So you can relate that pain with the menstrual cramps that you feel. So that is the pain you will feel. Embryo transfer is not at all a painful procedure, it is like a normal procedure like uh, you go for a transvaginal scan and a slight like a per speculum examination you can say. So embryo transfer is a very good procedure like the patient feels very grateful because the patient has undergone so much injections and the procedure for this day only. They can see their embryos going inside the womb. So usually we do not practice giving general anesthesia during the embryo transfer procedure but still some patients who feel very apprehensive. The apprehension basically is not about the pain. It is about the anxiety and the thoughts that come into their mind and then they feel that okay it is going to a painful procedure but believe me it is not a painful procedure. The patients feel very good when they see the embryos going inside their womb and uh, that uh, like uh, it reduces the stress level a lot and somewhere it has a uh, good effect on the brain and ultimately on you getting a pregnancy. Post embryo transfer yes many times we do give them blood thinners usually we try to avoid giving injections to the patient we usually give vaginal gels to them because they are good vaginal gels which have replaced the injections. Many patients who do not want vaginal gels who are uncomfortable with vaginal gels, definitely we have to put them on injections. Those one two injections are oil based, otherwise uh, nowadays there are also like uh, injections, other injections which are not oil based which we recommend to the patient and uh, sometimes we give blood thinner to the patients, they are also used subcutaneous. So overall the whole procedure of IVF as such is not very very like painful. But definitely like if you have any problem post IVF cycle means when you are pregnant then obviously we treat a patient as you have got a normal pregnancy and then to like uh, ha give you a normal pregnancy, give you a normal child, we definitely put you on many invasive injections because that is essential. That does not require that you have an IVF cycle or you do not have IVF cycle because many patients who do not have an IVF cycle when they also face bleeding and other discomfort during the first trimester, they are also given the same injections as all the patients who are having post IVF complications are put on. So just take this out of your mind that IVF is a very painful procedure. It is not a very painful procedure. Definitely it is emotionally very traumatic for the patient as they have to undergo a IVF cycle but ultimately the fruits that you are going to bear is not vis-a-vis -vis the pain you are going to suffer.